Hello beautiful, strong, happy and healthy people. It's been about three weeks since my last video and yes, it's been holiday time and it's been Christmas and it's been New Year's but the reason why I have not posted is because I actually got my first concussion. So I got hit in the head pretty freaking hard that I felt my brain bounce off the side of my head. So as you guys know, I do a bunch of little, I do martial arts and I've started doing a bit more stand up and I want to get back into boxing and Muay Thai and I want to get back into sparring because I feel a little bit uncomfortable and unconfident when I have like punches and stuff coming at me. So I just wanted to start sparring a little bit just to start feeling a little bit more confident being one on one face to face with someone who wants to hit me. Uh, it worked, worked out great. So I went to my first sparring session with um, my coach in his garage and I was sparring with uh, the, my last one, I was doing really well, I was sparring with a teenage boy and right before the timer went he hit this really strong right hand to the side of my head and I felt my whole head go to the side and I felt it hit and it hurt, my ears were ringing, I did not feel good and then after that I ended up doing a 10 minute roll with one of the other guys to show a little bit of Jiu Jitsu. That was not a fun roll, I was a little bit out of it. So what happened, I was, I didn't tell anyone that I got hurt. I was like, you know, like one of the other girls there. Um, first time, didn't want to seem like kind of like a newbie, didn't want to seem uncomfortable. So went home, had lots of water, had a shower and was laying in bed. And I was up at 1.30 in the morning on the phone to my dad who lives overseas and being like, Dad, I got hit in the head really hard. I'm in agony, my ears are ringing, I'm nauseous. Um, I cannot sleep, my head is killing me. I never get headaches. I'm like, what do I do? Do I go to an emergency room? I was about to call the ambulance, but I don't like doctors, I don't like hospitals. So I was like, do I call the ambulance or I just sleep it off? So I was like, I'm gonna take a Valium, try and um, fall asleep. So I took a Valium, fell asleep. Went to work the next day, had a couple clients, I did not feel good. I was, my head was killing me, I felt exhausted. I ended up um, finishing my sessions, going straight home and just sleeping for the rest of the day. And that was pretty much three or four days after that is a couple of my clients I cancelled because I didn't feel up to it. For about three days I was um and ahhing about should I go to the emergency room and get a CT scan because of how much pain I was still in and the fact that the nausea lasted um, a quite a bit of time. And after about a week, I was pretty much fully recovered, but still now I get a little bit of headaches, a little bit of tightness. I had my first jiu-jitsu session back yesterday after a while, and I felt a little bit exhausted, and I did get a little bit of a headache at the end. But yeah, my first concussion. Apparently, um, you don't always get concussion from sparring. I was just unlucky with the angle. I don't really have a hard head. I've got a nice little girly soft head. So I thought I took the hit really well, my brain apparently didn't. But if that does happen in the future and if I do get hit like that again, 100% I'm going straight to the emergency room. The fact that I didn't I think was kind of silly. I don't know what damage it could have done. I just went in just for a checkup and I'm in Australia. There's an amazing medical system and I should have just went and done it. So that's the reason why I've not posted in three weeks. I want to tell you guys my little story. I haven't told too many people yet because it's a little embarrassing to get hit by a teenage boy and uh, get a bit of a concussion on my, one of my first sparring sessions back. But a uh, quick question, because you know, the internet knows everything in the world. If anyone here has had a concussion, I want to know what you guys have done and I want to know what you think I should have done. Or if you know anyone that's had it. Like, should I have went straight to the emergency room? Was it safe that I slept afterwards? Some of the internet says sleep, some of it says don't. So if it does happen again, what should I do or what should I have done different? I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for checking out my channel um, and my video. Please make sure you keep being strong, happy and healthy and there'll be a bunch more videos coming up soon. Once I'm 100% back into thinking normal, I can tell I still slur up my words and it sounds bad but I do feel like I'm not functioning 100% like I used to. Um, so once I'm 100% back, there'll be more videos. But in the meantime, keep being strong, happy and healthy.